artist Jogin Chaudhary is often called the master of the unbroken line for his use of the line. But in 2008, which was the first time I interviewed uh, Jogin Chaudhary, he told me there is a lot more to his art than just the unbroken line. The various themes he addresses are those of oppression, of power, of humanity, and he takes the symbolism also of births to talk about many of these themes. I'm here with Joginda today to find out more about his art, how it has evolved, and why he talks about some of the things he talks about. Joginda, I know I've kept you waiting, but this is a very important interview to do, also, also for your students, but I've framed you against Bakasur. We've talked about Bakasur in the past. A lot of people, when they walk in, they see a bird. But this is no mere bird. You're talking about so many things through this bird. Why Bakasur? Actually, Bakasur, I started yes, last year. I made four or five works with Bakasur. Actually, it is a representation of a power which we had during the last years before the present government in Bengal. So I am actually, it is not the uh, a person, personality, but the whole system, the power. Now, how they had, uh, uh, you know, they killed the people, destroyed the people, and that represents uh, in that. You see that uh, the Bokashu with a lot of uh, teeth in the mm -hmm. mouth, is trying to, you know, eat an eye in this case, and also sometimes human head I did last time, but with a lot of, uh, you know, aesthetic qualities in the, for me, in the whole uh, rendering of the lines. So mm -hmm. it is, at a time, it has a message, uh, and also, uh, you know how, uh, also, I was conscious of the art form. Yeah. Even when you are painting a nude here, this, mm -hmm. she's holding a skull. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, generally people do nudes and they're, mm -hmm. they are Actually, symbols of something else. Actually, it is also a little bit philosophical since, you know, the image, you know, it came to my mind that the, uh, the woman or even men also thinks sometimes that the life is precious, the body is precious. You know, and then the image, they are also fond of their own image. But other way, other way, you see, at one time the whole, uh, the body gets destroyed. You know, so the, the skull in the hand is showing how at one time the whole body becomes, or you know, when it is, uh, 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 so it is a, uh, I mean, uh, the beauty which, exist uh, in, in reality when we see we are impressed everybody is impressed they are self-impressed you know one person looks at her own face or his own fa face they, they are always fond of it but at mm -hmm. the end of the life you know it is destroyed so one should be uh, you know it is a little philosophical this way that one should be unrelated to all this uh, you know, the present uh, position of, uh, you know, that sort of like uh, interest in oneself. So I, I, it worked in me in that way. So, uh, so uh, when I'm looking at the other two pieces which are right in front and you've spoken about this before, that you're interested in using the line mm -hmm. to look at the deeper humanity. And what, what sort of draws you to this? Because it is quite dr different from the blue sari that we have seen, say for instance. Actually, I have uh, interest in human figure and also a particular, you know, particular postures. You know, and each posture says, uh, you know, I find fun and interest in them. So, uh, the, the way they put their hand and legs and, you know, uh, uh, the, the relationship with the whole uh, rectangle size of the picture and also the feeling uh, which is you know you can feel even the touch the body you know that feeling I feel when I make the pictures and also the each uh, each part of the even the fingers 
even the fold of the cloths, uh, they are, uh, they, I, I get interest in them. They are at the same time their object, but they are no more object when it is painted or drawn in a other, in a particular way. One of the things that has always struck me about your art is the eye. And especially right. when you're doing, <clears throat> when you're painting women, mm -hmm. the eye comes across as so strong, it is mm -hmm. unflinching, the gaze mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. connects with the viewer. Mm. Actually what is happening, uh, I told this story, probably you are, you know, I have written many places that uh, in my early, you know, when I was uh, young, when I was actually teenager, I saw the image of Durga. Uh, and that I of Durga or the, our goddess it was, you know, uh, that uh, that was so uh, uh, attracted, you know, attracting to me, and I was obsessed with that eye all through. Even when I made a realistic uh, figure, I put the eye of Durga in particularly in woman's image, woman's face. So that is returning and what is happening, it also breaks the reality of the particular figure. It is, and you know, one side it is real but also unreal with the time. So I like that uh, different, uh, you know, uh, different attitude and uh, clashing the two attitudes in the mm -hmm. same picture. But Joginda, apart from being an artist, you've mm. been a curator, you've been an arts administrator, you've also inspired mm. many students. Mitu Sen is a very dear friend of mine, as is Rashmi, and they all speak very highly about how inspiring you've been as a professor. But mm. training a whole new generation of artists, mm -hmm. you know, what, is, what has that been like? And, you know, a lot One of the time thing. students want mm. to be their teacher. Mm. There, there is always that slight mm -hmm. danger. So what, what do you always tell your students? Actually, I think the main thing is that, you know, that uh, liking people, actually, you know, that is more important. I love people. Also, I love my students. So that really helped me to teach them. So I always felt that they are also a human being like me. So if I think of my own interest, I, if I think of my own life, I also think of their life also, their growth, their, you know, they become somebody who are important. So I had that sort of uh, passionate and uh, passionate feeling. At the same time, my whole teaching method was completely uh, as a missionary activity. So I liked that way and I had a lot of teaching method which if I, you know, it takes a long time to explain. Yeah. Joginda, thank you so much for your time. This is Unplugged with Deepika Shetty. I'm speaking to artist Jogin Chaudhary. Thank you.